Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to, uh, I guess it's uh, People Mover Inc. Yep, that's what it is, is People Mover Inc. Uh, where uh, last time got uh, a uh, line going through Everett uh, between Tulsa and DC. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, I figure what's needed here is to... Uh, connect more of the stuff here in this little plane and get uh, get a, a, a bunch more connectivity going, right? Uh, and in the meantime, also uh, collect uh, a little bit more cash, right, from the operations. Uh, right, so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to... Uh, basically time-lapse uh, uh, and maybe montage uh, some uh, track building here. Uh, notably, I'm going to start with Huntsville to Charlotte, which will eventually also turn into a river crossing to Corpus Christi, I think. Uh, but that's going to require cash that I don't yet have. Uh, but anyway, I will be uh, building the connection from Huntsville to Charlotte. And I may be extending the Tulsa connection uh, to Warren, maybe. Uh, I, I haven't uh, fully decided that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna, uh, sign off the, uh, the babbling here and uh, come back uh, after I've uh, done the... Uh, overall, uh, I guess you could say, uh, um, you know, construction on the next project. Uh, so uh, sit back and uh, and uh, enjoy, and maybe and don't get too seasick from the screen whipping around or something like that. Anyway, uh, uh, without further ado, a time lapse. Well, uh, that's uh, a little bit of uh, building. Uh, so I've got the line through to Hunt between Huntsville and Charlotte, and there's a train running on it, uh, so we can uh, 
observe that we're at Charlotte here uh, riding on the train uh, we're taking a full 42 uh, passengers here so I, I'm gonna need a second train on this line now as you may have noticed during the uh, time lapse there uh, I did uh, redo some of the intercity uh, roads as well uh, and that uh, uh, that's just uh, I, I just didn't like the uh, the windiness and all of that. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have the uh, the the train going here between the two that uh, on this uh, this link here, and that's uh, that's working out uh, well enough. I will launch another train on here. Uh, I'm obviously going to have to. Right. So, um, and as you can see, I'm still doing the single tracking through the countryside here. And things just continue apace. So, uh, you know, nothing terribly exciting on this particular uh, uh, track, you know. It just goes you know, between the stations, right? Uh, the, the one thing I do want to uh, just mention here is the setup over here. Uh, but just before I do, uh, manage vehicle. Do I have enough to duplicate it? I do. Okay. Uh, so this setup here. Uh, because I have this level crossing here and this uh, uh, diamond crossing here uh, and I need to have a spot for a spot for a train to wait coming here and uh, and coming here so I don't end up blocking stuff accidentally uh, I I opted for a single track connector here straight into the diamond crossing now, uh, that, uh, normally what I would do is I just bring a dual track right around and feed into the diamond crossing. But, uh, because this, uh, this train line here is feeding into a single platform stop here, it doesn't really give a lot of benefit to, uh, to split it because it's going to have to cross over the diamond anyway, uh, to get to the platform that it's going to stop at, right? Uh, if there was through running trains that came in through here and then uh, passed through and both platforms were going to be used, then it would make a little bit more sense to redo this, right? So that gets, uh, that gets some of this here uh, uh, complication simplified. Uh, without having to re to figure out a different scheme here because you can't uh, you can't have a, a rail crossing in the middle of a road crossing right um, I also while you were away I added the uh, the rail connection up to Richmond but I haven't uh, I haven't uh, adjusted the line to run a train through here yet. Uh, I wanted to uh, to figure out uh, what I'm going to do from Richmond here. Now, I think uh, what's going to happen is there's going to be a line going from Richmond through Warren to, uh, what is that, Vallejo. And there's going to be a line from Rancho Cucamonga, uh, probably via Warren, to Fort Wayne, I think. Uh, which means I'm going to need the, uh, the, the track coming into Warren as well from Richmond. And this is going to be a little bit of a hub. Um, but uh, my what I was wondering was whether uh, whether I should have Tulsa be the hub instead so ha and have the 
the line Tulsa, Richmond, Warren, and Tulsa, Warren, Fort Wayne, etc. And I was thinking, no, that's going to, the reason I'm not going to do that is that would mean we'd have a direct connection up to Warren and an indirect connection up to Warren, uh, but both of them on single train connections, right? Uh, so I think the uh, the split at Warren makes sense, which means I need to figure out where to place the station in Warren. But uh, I have a cash problem at the moment. I could borrow some cash here, but the uh, uh, the uh, the cash needs to build up a little bit before. I can do anything extensive here. Uh, so the question is, um, oh right, yes. So uh, what's the uh, the line? We're going from uh, Tulsa to DC and Huntsville to Tulsa. Right, 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 right. So on the Huntsville to Tulsa line, I can now extend that to Richmond. So we'll manage the line, and from Tulsa, we'll go from here to, and then back to here. And that's going to change the line uh, to Richmond. Uh, right, okay. So that extends the line up to Richmond. Uh, let's, uh, let's just get on here. We're, we'll ride it out to Richmond, and... Uh, I just take gander at what's going on here, right? Uh, so the uh, the tracks are not really that exciting, as you've noticed, right? I mean, that's just, just the way things are, right? Uh, we built a track across a plain to a town where there's a station, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's what we've done. And over here, we're going to drop nobody off and pick nobody up right so really that's where we're at but what I need to do here in Richmond uh, and I'll do this on camera this time uh, what I do need in Richmond is some uh, local uh, uh, transport and that should be enough to do it. And if I shove this in right about here, I can grab a street, connect it, tools. Uh, nope. Uh, that. Okay. Good. So now I can go in here, I can buy, I don't know, two of them. And then it can just go back and forth here. And this will be, where are we? Richmond Crosstown. Right, so that will get, uh, that, that should get some, some stuff going there. Right, and I think I need to go across this way as well. Right. Okay, so we'll put one here. And here. Here. And here. Right. There we go, we've got that. So now we can come in here. I'm gonna buy, I don't know, four of them. Yeah. New line. Right. So that's the Richmond Longitudinal. Right. Okay. And this one, I think, uh, realistically, I'm going to need at least four on there. 
right. Okay. So that is going to get uh, the local transport happening in Richmond. So the idea is this line will connect here with this. Uh, ultimately, in a bigger town, I'll have more cross town and longitudinal lines crisscrossing the place. Uh, passengers will transfer lines so they can get between their residential and commercial or residential and industrial in the local town, but they can also connect to the train station to get to another town, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be bringing... Uh, passengers up to the train station there. Uh, we already have local in Tulsa and we have local in Huntsville. Uh, we don't have local in Everett, but we don't actually need it really at this point, so it's fine. Uh, and Charlotte is basically fine for the moment. Uh, I'm going to need uh, bigger trains on that Charlotte Everett uh, Huntsville line. Right. Uh, I th suspect that there's a uh, contingent connecting Washington, D.C. to Charlotte here. Uh, and you know what? Uh, I think yeah, we, just, uh, we can just uh, chuck a road in between them as well. So we can, we can come up, I don't know, like... Oh, really? I don't know what they did to the uh, road building system. It didn't used to be that picky. Uh, right, so this comes up to here. This comes up to here. Right. Yeah, so a road between the two. Uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get actual private traffic on this road. Uh, that might reduce some of the uh, the tr whoops, the train uh, business there, uh, which uh, may or may not be beneficial. I I don't know for sure. But I just think I think it's better having this road here. It it seems more reasonable that there would be a road there, doesn't it? So uh, yeah. Uh, now I'm wondering what the next uh, project should be. I think it's. Uh, I think it's filling in this part with uh, like the uh, starting on the uh, uh, star topology out of Warren. Yeah, uh, because I'm thinking uh, there's going to be Richmond, Warren, Vallejo, right? And then Rancho Cucamonga to Warren and that up to Fort Wayne, right? I think. And maybe on to Augusta. And Erie will probably be a stop coming over to Greensboro. Yeah, probably. And that will bring it across toward Independence, probably. Yeah, so we're getting toward the edge of the map up here. Uh, so obviously Alexandria to Port St. Lucie uh, will, uh, will be a thing. And maybe Memphis but I've got to get everything up through Augusta to uh, probably Port St. Lucie. Yeah, probably. Uh, anyway, uh, that's, uh, I think, going to be enough for this particular installment. Uh, that's got a uh, expanded uh, uh, line going from Huntsville through Tulsa. Uh, so Richmond is doing its thing where I'm going to need another train on that line, uh, pretty obviously. So uh, there's enough cash to do it, so I'll launch it. Now, just before I go, let's go take a, a look back in our original heartland here. Uh, where we have uh, Columbia is uh, doing quite nicely. Uh, we've got the Columbia Durham uh, line uh, looks like it could um, potentially stand a few more 
uh, slots for capacity, right? Yeah, it possibly could. Uh, that is something I'll have to look into, maybe. Uh, but as you can see, uh, just before I go, uh, it's uh, cash flow positive. Uh, the, the whole operation is cash flow positive. And that means that, you know, so we spend cash here, but uh, we actually had the cash to spend. Uh, so the, the, the total here is going up. Uh, the uh, investments number here, as long as this is uh, uh, this is uh, smaller, uh, or rather is, um, let me reset. As long as uh, if you add this back to this, you get a positive number. It means you're operationally positive. And that means you just need to let it let time pass to get out of the uh, the hole that you've dug by spending cash. So uh, with this particular spot, it's uh, as it's you know as we're looking right now, uh, you know it's it's five hundred k positive, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, th there's plenty of cash coming in and that will improve as, uh, the connections improve and more passengers are moving around. Now, uh, I, I will admit that this is not on very hard difficulty or hard difficulty. It's on medium. And that means that it's much easier to earn, earn, uh, income that way. Uh, so, uh, just to be aware of, if you like playing particularly hard anyway, that's, uh, that's going to be all for, wait, we just ticked over, right? Yeah. So it was, it, this was about a, uh, hundred K, uh, net, uh, 80 K net profit. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's going to be all for this particular episode. So I'm going to just mention the usual stuff. I have a Patreon. If for some reason you want to support the channel, you can. Uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, or you can just ignore that, you know. It'll still be in the description, the link that is. But, you know, if you don't want to, don't. You know, it's you, you do you and all that jazz, right? Uh, also, uh, the usual stuff like comment, subscribe, that is a thing, you know, the usual YouTube thing costs you nothing. If you want to do it, great. If you don't, well, that's fine too. All that said, see you back next time.